Um, we're going to hear next from uh, Matt with Firebrand Arters and Breads. You know, so much more than just baking bread, but obviously such a just core part of, again, I say it over and over, our, our society and our culture. So Matt, please take us away. Hello, my name is Matt um, Kreutz, the founder of Firebrand Artists and Bread. Uh, I've been working in the food service industry since I was 14 years old. Um, it's all I've ever done. It's the people that I love and the industry that I really care about. And in 2008, we started Firebrand as a wholesale and um, wholesale bakery and retail cafe operating in uh, uptown Oakland. We make wood-fired um, breads and pastries with the mission to create a more just and equitable workplace as well as thriving communities through the craft of baking. Um, we focus at Firebrand on hiring people who are formerly homeless, formerly incarcerated, otherwise have barriers to employment. Uh, we have 80 people at Firebrand, all of whom are still currently employed throughout this um, crisis at full time. 80% um, of our employees are people of color and over 75% of our um, leadership team are women and or um, people of color. Um, with State of California, uh, if you're released from prison today, you have an almost 70% chance of going back into prison within three years. That percentage drops by 20% if you're paired with a good job um, 90 days post-release. So Firebrands created a network of pre and post-release service agencies um, to work with in order to source employees as quickly as we can post-release and get them into a great job. Firebrand offers um, a living wage. We offer um, growth ladders as well as professional development opportunities and great benefits in order to allow people to be at Firebrand for a long time and build um, deeper community ties and keep them away from the criminal justice system uh, long term. 20% of what we do is through our retail um, bakery cafe in Uptown and 80% of what we do is wholesale. We have almost 200 accounts that we self-distribute um, from San Rafael down to Santa Cruz, uh, mainly in four different categories, um, cafes, food service, grocery, and restaurants. Um, right now, um, Firebrand is out of production capacity and we have a wait list of accounts and we have three big opportunities that we wanna capitalize on. Um, Whole Foods, who we've been working with for about a decade, wants us to launch, um, take over all their deli breads, um, take over all their pastries, as well as launch a gourmet donut line in the Northern California region for them. And then we're launching in July a sliced um, bread and packaged line uh, that will go national by the end of 2021. Uh, Vizient, who's the nation's largest healthcare um, GPO, uh, they serve Kaiser, Alta Bates, um, Sutter. They want us to come into their supplier network to help um, serve their community. And then Guggenheimer, who we've been working with for about four years, wants us to be one of three um, bakery teams that they work with across their 75 locations. Uh, we already work with them at Google and Twitch and um, Airbnb and companies like that, but they want us to expand um, with them. In order to do that, um, we need to fundraise. We have a 40,000 square foot spot that we are have a lease on. We've got drawings done. We're ready to submit to the city, um, but we were kind of uh, like really close to finishing when the uh, COVID crisis uh, happened. So um, we are in that last little bit of closing. We have $5.7 million of debt committed led by CRF. And then the equity is led by the wonderful Anair uh, over at Candide. And we're looking for another 1.5 million to um, close that, add 30 more good jobs to our community um, and expand to a new facility. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Matt. Kristen, I, it's all you, please. Okay, well, one, um, I am missing being at the hub and getting to have Firebrand um, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner um, when we were closer. So thank you for the work that you do and thank you for the community. And I guess my question is how local should bread be? It sounds like um, it, Northern California is where you're really looking to be. Is that, will that complete expansion for you? Yeah, so we're not gonna be, I'm not very interested in like opening like satellite kitchens or anything like that. I live in Oakland, uh, about a mile and a half from the bakery. We're looking to do as much as we can in the Bay Area. We want to focus on creating jobs in the Bay Area. Um, we are launching a new product that will be a national product, but we could do that all from our headquarters here in the East Bay. Thank you. Thanks for your work. Thank you. Thank you so much for your amazing work.